All right. Uh, interesting topic here. Um, just going to start out with this whole thing of Yahweh. I've heard this thing that, uh, oh, Yahweh, and then they'll do the Yeshua and all this other stuff. Um, saw this uh, video here, and it really kind of brought to mind um, the fact that these names, that it's it's a satanic thing that, that uh, the devil comes up with where he tries to get you away from the word of God. Let me just demonstrate something very quickly here. Um, Yahweh. Okay. Let's uh, type in Yahweh. Right there we have it. King James Bible. The word Yahweh was not found in the King James Version. Then why are people using it? Okay. Well, it, you, you see it's the Hebrew word, YH. Uh, WH or something like this and so we can bring it into English just kind of transliterate it and everything else N no you can't um, the name for God in the Old Testament is if you want the name here it's Jehovah all right Jehovah is his name uh, three syllables okay you get it because there's three parts to God you know Jehovah but uh, I'm not going to get into all the Hebrew stuff and whatever else here but um just want to show something here why there's no power to this this is a documentary on ruby ridge i was talking to my son about it and um, i actually have the book that the weavers wrote right here it is um the federal siege at ruby ridge by randy and sarah weaver the family that was involved out there and they were getting into all this aryan nation gobbledygook i had a brother that was out there in yak montana and there's some of the Aryan Nation stuff out there. I don't know how strong it is anymore, but um, it was a you know big thing out there. And it, and all through this documentary, you see these people and they're holding up this Yahweh stuff and whatever else. Yahweh God passed judgment on these murderers now and everything. And it was totally wrong what happened to Randy Weaver and Vicky, his wife, and their and their uh, what four children? I guess they had three daughters and one son. Samuel got was killed by the federal agents really horrible but the whole point is uh, when you start messing around with these false these names of false gods you are really starting to get into dangerous territory all right um very dangerous territory so you can see it there they're holding up this sign yahweh god these are the protesters go back to 18 minutes let me go back here 18 minutes and 59 seconds okay let me Play a little bit here okay um the Lord. every knee shall bow to yahshua not even spelled correctly messiah you got gentiles and they're they're saying that they're jews uh, well the bible says in revelation chapter 2 and revelation chapter 3 that they're the synagogue of satan you need to be real careful about that i am not a jew okay i'm a northern european i'm a gentile christian I'm born into the body of Christ now. That doesn't make me Jewish. And you, you need to quit that this stuff. I've preached against it. It's disgusting. It makes me angry. Um, you know, go with the King James Bible. And then they go back to here 14 minutes and six seconds. I'm going to be showing some other evidence here, so just hold on. Uh, she wrote this letter here. Um, this is Vicki Weaver, the wife that got, they shot her in the head during the whole siege thing. But she says here, um, Yah, Yeshua, the Messiah of Saxon Israel is our advocate and our judge. Absolutely total satanic heresy. And if you're one of these people, just get off my channel, okay? I have no time for you. If you're getting messed up with it, then listen to the truth because you're actually worshiping a false god that was invented. All right. Um, I'll show you the proof here in just a minute. But uh, this whole thing of Saxon Israel, the white Israels, you know, we're, we're the, actually the, the white people are the real Jews and the people over in Israel are imposters and everything else. That is satanic heresy. I can tell you that right now. Um, it, it's just and then it, see, it's, it's a little bait and switch thing. OK, first you get into that thing and then all of a sudden now. Since they're not the real Jews in Israel, then we're not really the, in the end times. And the end times probably happened in the first century with preterism, which I'm going to be doing a study on that, a detailed study on it, because it's another satanic heresy. Um, everything of Revelation happened in the first century. Yeah. Ridiculous. But that's where it leads. 
And pretty soon you're just off in cuckoo land and getting into all kinds of weird stuff and the government comes after you and God doesn't protect you and the whole family got shot to pieces and, you know, whatever. It's disgusting. It angers me. And there's a lot of it still around that out there. All these people that are Gentiles calling themselves Jews, synagogue of Satan is what they're identified as. Um, God brought the Jews back to the land in unbelief. Period. Your opinion doesn't matter on that. That's what the Bible teaches. That's the reason for the time of Jacob's trouble. If Israel, the true Israel, are the white Europeans that are savers, saved believers in Yeshua or something like this, why in the world does God bring his judgment on them? The, these people have got rocks for brains. It, it just it infuriates me because it's so stupid. I mean, there's some things that you can agree to disagree on and whatever, and, you know, some areas of liberty, obviously, but there's some doctrinal stuff that's kind of, I don't know, and you can get into debates with brethren with it, things that are not crystal clear, but this stuff's crystal clear. I mean, well, white people are actually the real Jews and, you know, whatever, and we don't have to actually go to physical Israel. Israel is symbolically, you know, Texas or something. Stupid. Absolutely stupid, but Watching this documentary, I watched this with my son the other day. I was teaching him about the whole Ruby Ridge thing, like I said. And just, I didn't know that they were into this Yeshua and, and Yahweh and all this stuff. And just, so here's an article on chick.com. Um, see if I can zoom in on this thing here. Okay. Why doesn't the King James Bible always translate Yahweh as Jehovah? You expressed a concern about the following statement by Gail Replinger. Now we are seeing a parallel move with the new Bible versions where it's not Jehovah anymore. It's just Lord. It's not Jesus Christ. It's just the Christ. And they do take out Jehovah, by the way. A lot of the new versions do that. You are correct that the KJV uses Lord to translate the divine name in most instances. However, there are several, seven instances in which the KJV translators use Jehovah for very specific reasons. Gail Replinger actually... Uh, was correct that modern Bible versions have removed Jehovah in these seven instances. The KGB translators used the name Jehovah whenever the name Yahweh was found under one of the following three conditions. When Yahweh, or Y-H-W-H, -H, this isn't actually even correct up here. By the way, I will be correcting that. Uh, when Y-H-W-H -H is used as God's personal name, um, uh, and I appeared under Exodus 6.3, and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah was I not known to them, that men, and then down there in Psalm 83, verse 18, whose name alone is Jehovah. When's God, when God's name is repeated as Yah Jehovah, um, Lord Jehovah there, Lord Jehovah there, and then it talks about a place name and whatever else there. So, um and it gets into the different things here. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole article. You can read it if you want here. But, um, you know, the, um, the whole point I'm trying to make here is that to take it and you know, if you want to get into all the stuff there, you know, it should be three different things. Yahoo and Va. It to shorten it to Yahweh is in, is incorrect, but there's an even bigger reason which I will get into here really quickly, and this is this little booklet right here put out by Peter Ruckman, the Yuhu Yahweh scam, and this is what a lot of people don't realize. Okay, um, years ago, between 1840 and 1940, apostate liberal theologians drummed up the pagan idea that the Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth. The Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, Revelation chapter 22, Colossians 1, John 1, was a simple, was simply a local tribal god um, of some Hebrew Bedouins who came out of Egypt. This tribal deity, like Mohammed's moon god, Allah, was a local deity given a preeminent place like Muhammad gave to the chief god of the 360 gods in the Kaaba. This tribal god was called Yahweh. He took his place and he lists a bunch of false gods there and whatever else. Um, and then it says, then this word Yahweh was passed down from one liberal campfire to another liberal campfire by the FCC, Federal Council of Christian Churches, and the National Council of Christian Churches in 1960, and by all the revisers of the translated committees of the RSV and the NRSV. Yahweh was the ticket. Um, 
And then it goes into, uh, I'll say this yet, read this part. Yahweh has always been the hallmark of all apostate liberals connected with any ecumenical movement. Uh-oh. So the name Yahweh is a false god. Hmm. Just a local tribal god. Right there. And he gets into all the proof in this little booklet right here. So it isn't just, oh, well, we had some differences in opinion here with the, uh, you know, with the um, way that it could be translated, the different vowels and the, and the YHWH thing and whatever. Uh, that's there. But the main thing is this Yahweh is a false god. And that's why you see people like this, this um, the weavers out there, and they had no protection at all. See, the devil, what is his main area of expertise? Okay, if you know your King James Bible, you know that the devil, his favorite thing to do is to counterfeit God. And you can go through all of it. You know, the devil's a roaring lion. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Uh, Jesus appears as the angel of God. The devil appears as an angel of light. Um, you know, the devil has a city. Jesus has a city. The devil has a bride. Jesus has a bride. You know, all these different things. The devil always counterfeits. So the devil's not afraid to quote scripture. When he shows up in the in the Bible, he actually usually does quote scripture. But the devil likes to counterfeit. So the devil says, uh, I got it. I have to get rid of this King James Bible. But I know better than to try and destroy it because that can't happen. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Devil can't destroy it, so what does he do? He counterfeits it through the Vatican. You see, the devil says, hey, I, I want to get rid of God. So what does he do? He counterfeits it. And I've seen these people, and I just, I don't have a whole lot of patience or love for these people, these ones that get into the Yeshua and the Yahweh and all this other stuff. And they're just going around and it's just some magical name that they can use. And it's so much more powerful. These people are some of the most profane, vile, wicked devils out there, which this Randy Weaver guy, I heard him interviewed the one time years after this whole thing happened. And he said, I believe that God is a woman. <laughs> yeah. OK. You know, they're blasphemers, these people. And you get into all this different stuff. Bill Schneblin. Um, Viking preparedness, Joe Fox. Uh, there's a bunch of them on YouTube, and they do the Yah and the Yahweh and the Yeshua and everything else. Um, you are into a satanic movement if you're getting into that. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. And I am not scared one bit of any of those devils. I'm not afraid because I have actually dealt with devils in the spiritual realm, physically manifesting. I don't talk about that a whole lot. I've done a few videos on it. And I use the name Jesus, and there's power there. I'm not ashamed of the, the, the name Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of the King James Bible. So if you're going to use the King James Bible, then you need to use the English words that are in there. Right? This book has power that the original manuscripts couldn't even come close to. You know, the original manuscripts that don't even exist anymore. Okay. Uh, you say, well, you know, God raptured them up to heaven or something. They're settled in heaven. Uh, really? Uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, God doesn't need the original autographs in heaven. He's not a Catholic. You would put them in some kind of a glass case so you can worship them or something. That's nonsense. Um, all you have to do is just test it out. Try it out. Live by this book. And you'll see that it has power. But if, you wanna, if you're one of these little funny bunnies and you want to go off into Yahweh land and everything else, worship your false god, go right ahead. You know, Go ahead and see where it gets you. Uh, there's a lot of bad stuff coming on this earth right now, and you need as much, you know, spiritual power as you can possibly get. And if you're going to mess around with false God names and whatever, and you know, pretending to use Jesus's name, but it has to be said in Hebrew or something. That's nonsense. If you speak in English, then you use his English name, Jesus. All right. I mean. So. Just wanted to put that out there. I saw that and I just thought, isn't that just so telling? Uh, where's that one part at? 3651. Just unreal. Death to Zog. I guess that's some kind of a Jewish hate thing or something like this, I think. Where's the deal at there? Okay. 
Yeah, Yahweh God, pass judgment now on these murderers. You know, um, he's not going to do it. And it's funny because all the guys, Lon Horiuchi, the sniper that actually shot Vicky Weaver um, in the head, uh, no problem. Nothing ever happened to him. All the people that were out there doing the murdering and everything else, no convictions. Why? Because the name Yahweh is a powerless name. And if you're using it, you better repent. Okay. You want to learn more about it? my paper on the floor <laughs> you want to learn more about it get this little booklet here um bible baptist bookstore you can check it out it's in pensacola florida they sell it i guess they still sell it um but uh just use a king james bible you know i don't really want to buy the thing okay then just use the king james bible look up a, a word and oh it's not in there okay i probably shouldn't use it then you know, uh, Trinity's not in there. You know, don't use that one either. If you don't know about the Trinity issue, um, Trinity is a false pagan set of gods as well. You have three gods in the Trinity, but they're not really three. They're just three. <laughs> oh, okay. They're just one, but they're three different. They're three separate different ones, and they're not the same, but they are the same. And they, you know, devil uses a lot of that stuff. Um so I'll hit a couple questions here quick. If anybody has questions, I'll answer yours here. Why do the Jews in Israel say the name of God is Yahweh? And they then claim that Yahweh is the DNA of the of all people. I use Jesus. Because the, the Jews in Israel are lost. They're lost and on their, their way to hell. So there you go. Um, the Yuhu Yahweh scam tract right there is the link. If you want to see where that's at right there you can go check out there what that is so but anyhow not a real long stream long live stream today i just wanted to put this thing out real quickly um so Brother Brian, have you looked at the video I commented on your last video? Uh, you have to forgive me. I don't remember if I did or not. It's Things are just really nutty right now. Um, have you heard of Stephen Pigeon and his Eth Sefer translation? No, I have not. Don't know anything about it. called encounter with a lost kjv only as who denies the trinity no i don't know anything about that i didn't i didn't see it i don't see all the comments you know i i can't go through all of them i get so many anymore it's just crazy so So I'm um, going to be working on, I'll just say this quick, uh, going to be working on some different studies. I'm actually redoing an old one that I did many years ago on pleading the blood. Um, it's witchcraft. It's not Bible-believing Christianity. I'll make more friends on that one too, you know, um, but that's what it's all about, isn't it? <laughs> um, but it's not in the, in the Bible. You aren't going to see anybody's pleading the blood in the entire King James Bible. It's just trying to manipulate God by using incantations or whatever else it's absolutely satanic heresy um i have actually the old study notes right here went through my files and i found them 2011 is when i did this the study right there's the study um and i went to a website biblenowledge.com and um, i checked and the article still there uh, so i don't know if i'm going to show that or whatever else but i'm working on that one um, I might redo another old study from 2010, July of 2010, on the unpardonable sin. And then um, this one here is actually really old. This is uh, 2009, um, Doctrines of Devils. I'll pull it up there a little bit better. Doctrines of Devils in the New King James Version. So um, 
I'm going to be spending some more time in the future kicking the new versions because I haven't done that in a while. Um, wanting to get back to that. So working on that stuff right there. Um, so, okay. Um, okay. What makes the King James Bible the only true word of God? Well, it's the only true word of God in the English language. Um, number one, manuscript evidence. The vast majority of extant Greek manuscripts, extant meaning the ones that we have access to, uh, that we can physically handle, physically look at, uh, over 99% of them line up with the text, which is the King James Bible is based on. Okay, so you have the textual uh, thing there. Um, the vast majority of evidence goes for the King James Bible. Number two, the spiritual fruit that it has produced. No question about it. Um, King James Bible has been the greatest uh, Bible translation in all of history. And number three, your own personal, you know, try it out and you'll see it. I came from using new versions for the first 26 years of my life and the new versions are terrible. So, um, and there's a lot of other things I get into. There's a, a video I did on uh, KJV only perfection, and I get into a lot more evidence there. So, barbarian or Christian? Um, both. I'm a Gentile. Um, my ancestral name in the King James Bible, I'm not a Scythian or from Spain or whatever. I'm a barbarian, is what the Romans would have called Northern Europeans, Germanic and Celtic people. In the first century so that's why i'm born again barbarian barbarian is a bible term i can't say born again german or born, born again american barbarian is the bible term um so so what's god's real name God has a number of names that are real. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ, that's a good one. Um, Jehovah, another good one. Um, Yahweh is not a Bible word. It's just not there. It's not in the King James Bible. And um, it was designed by the ecumenical movement, liberals. So you definitely want to stay away from that. Um, So, okay, I'm going to quit here, I guess. Um, uh, I have to answer this one. Question, have you ever thought of doing a study on the Northern Crusades when the Catholics tried to convert barbarians by force? Um, still studying it. It's really a fascinating thing. Um, so, uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see about that in the future. Um, I know this is meant for questions. I just wanted to say thanks, Brother Brian. You're welcome. Thank you. It's always good to hear how this ministry has changed people's lives. I always like to hear that. Um, it's a great honor to be able to preach and teach God's word. So, um, okay. The letters Y H W H are in our DNA. Well, that might be true, but it's not a God. It's not uh, God's name. So, yeah. Jehovah or Yahweh? I see no difference. Who is El Shabbatai? El Shabbatai. I don't know who that is, but um, show me the word Yahweh in the King James Bible. Then we'll talk. Okay. And with that, I'm going to end this little live stream here. Do not fall for this thing. There's going to be a lot of bad times coming. Like I said, you need to have the right name of the Lord Jesus Christ and not messing around with Hebrew names when you're English speaking and saying Yahweh. Yahweh is a false God. Okay, that's going to be it. Thank you. For